Last week, Wilmington police responded to two shootings within hours of each other, one killing a 20 year old and another injuring a 19 year old. And tonight, the father, who is counting his blessings that his son is still alive, spoke to our Andrew James. Andrew joins us now in our studio with more of his message to the community. Andrew. Donna, this weekend, a parent who nearly lost his son brought a small group together. Their rally was meant to talk and challenge the Wilmington community following these two shootings. It seemed like a slap in the face that it would happen to him. Less than a week ago, there was a moment in time that Kevin Spears did not know if his son was alive. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, that feeling to not know if your child is okay or not. Spears says for years he has spoken out for families of shooting victims. He never thought he'd be on the other side, speaking for his own family. It's just different when it's your child, and, and I think what I did yesterday was just me trying to channel that energy in a positive way. There had to be a better, a better way to resolve an issue with another person. Spears and roughly a dozen people gathered in front of Wilmington City Hall to talk about last week's gun violence. Two shootings, one deadly and the other along Princess Place Drive. The one Spears' son walked away from. And I'm blessed to still have them to talk about, you know, in the physical and not just in the memory. So that's that's a blessing. While he tries to make sense of why his son was shot, Spears says the weekend rally may be a start to a renewed effort of awareness to prevent more gun violence. If you're not actively participating in um, what's taking place in our community, then you should be. Now, I reached out to Wilmington police. They say that they are still investigating to find the motive behind that shooting. Donna.